All right, so now I'm inside of PSQL and I'm going to press backslash D, so lowercase d, and you can see the list of relations. So this is just to refresh your mind. So we have person and then person ID. This is the sequence for our ID. If you want to see just the tables, press backslash D and then T. So this shows just tables and you can see we only have one table. So let's go ahead and insert a person into this table. So the command is insert and then into and then the actual table name. So person and then we have to specify the actual columns. So I'm not going to specify the ID because that's managed by us by this sequence right here. So person ID sequence. So I'm going to specify first name, last name, gender, and then date of birth. So let's say that this person does not have an email, right? And that with parentheses. And then if I press enter, this command won't be executed until you end the entire command with semicolon, if you don't remember. And then I'm going to say values and inside parentheses, the values. So it takes an array of values and they have to match the same order as the columns names specified right here. So the first name is Anne, and then the last name is Smith. So she's a female, so female, and then the date of birth is date. And then within quotes, 1988, and then 01 for February, and then the 9th. So remember that first comes the year, month, and then the actual day. And then if I end that with semicolon and then enter, you see that we get this message right here insert zero one. So that means that the insert did work. Let's go ahead and pretty much just do the same command. But this time, let's go ahead and add um, a mail. So this will be mail. So I've just pressed the up arrow and I got the same command. So in case you're wondering, so this is Jones and then Jones. So this is actually Jake Jones. And if I go back, let's also specify the actual email. So email. And then if I go all the way down here, let's say that this guy is from 1990. And then let's say the 12th. And then let's say the 31st. And I also have to specify the email. So let's say that the email is Jake and then at gmail.com. If I press enter, you can see that this same command did work. And this is how you insert into tables. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to perform read operations in our table called person. Join me there.